We are now joined by someone of a valley legend. We are carving out here in Burt's Rapids this morning. I'm joined by Barry. I, I wanted to refer to you as a wood sculptor, but you said just, just an old timer. An old time wood carver. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you get into it? I mean, you were inspired partially by your father. Right. My dad was quite a, quite a carpenter. He was a policeman for 42 years. Mm -hmm. And he did a lot of painting and carving and things like this. And this more or less is... I took over from there, and uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I was 16 years as a taxidermist. Mm -hmm. I was a bricklayer for years and a stonemason, so I'm handy with my hands. You've done a little bit of everything right. then. And why do you like to focus on waterfowl and, and wild game? Well, because of duck hunting and uh, hunting in general. Yeah. A lot of people that carve, if they don't hunt or they don't handle the birds, mm -hmm. they have a hard time with the feathering and with the, the anatomy of the bird. Mm -hmm. Or if you if you deal with the birds, you know about them. Like 16 years of taxidermy, you get to know a lot. A lot of the carvers used to come into the shop mm -hmm. and they'd ask, they'd say, well, what's the matter with this? And I'd say, well, let's go back and look. And we'd say, well, your bill is too big or your feathers are too long or something like this. And mm -hmm. if you if you haven't been dealing with the birds, it's pretty hard to carve them. Exactly. Yeah. So what are we what are we making today? Well, we're just doing a few cardinals up. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you how do they how do the pieces of wood start? They before start we... off with just a block of wood. Right. So I mean, you're making a. That's a going to be a black duck when duck it's finished. Here, right? but that's what they call a shooting bird. It's just a just a rough bird. It's mm -hmm. not uh, too much detail. I do a lot of detail birds, but a lot of them I do just for duck hunters and for mm -hmm. floating on the water. Right? And that's going to be one. What different types of wood do you use? That's uh, cedar, but I use mostly basswood. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can buy it in blocks and chunks. Yeah. So what's the, what's the next step? I mean, we've got a, several cardinals here in a couple of different stages. Will you show me a thing or two? What do you carve with? What are your tools? Well, I, I use uh, Dremel tools and a bandsaw. You mm -hmm. rough it out with the bandsaw like okay. this. And then you use uh, knives and uh, different kind of chisels, which mm -hmm. I have up here. Things like that that uh, you gather over the years. So what's the next? Uh, would this be the, the tool that you'll be using for the cardinal? Right, right. Okay, so will you show me a thing or two? Well, you, it's more or less of... Uh, so did you pencil those lines on? Right, them? you pencil the lines on of where you want them. Mm -hmm. and they'll turn out similar to this when you're finished. Mm -hmm. And then now, how did you get all of these feathering marks that's on done here? with a, a burning machine. It's, uh, and we'll show you how that's right done here. just I a little bit later in the show. show. That. Yeah, yeah, but uh, that's the way you carve it here. Oh yeah! Wow. How many years did it take you uh, to, to perfect the cardinal here? Well, I'm not perfected yet. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, still, it's a learning process. I've, anybody that says of doing anything that I'm a perfectionist at it, they're either a liar <laughs> or they don't want to learn anymore. Because you can learn how to sharpen a pencil mm -hmm. from just from somebody showing you different ideas of it. So when you say, oh, I know everything, you've lost it. I don't know, Barry, you're pretty modest. Look at the intricacy in this cardinal here. Coming up a little bit later in the show, we'll show you uh, the next steps in, uh, in putting together the finishing touches of the cardinal. Don't go anywhere. That's all coming up on CTV Morning Live.